The D-backs are probably the worst team in baseball right now. They are currently on a 12-game losing streak, and they hold the worst record in all of baseball at 20-48. and 48. So today I'm going to be analyzing the D-backs season so far, what their roster looks like as it stands right now, and what I think of them going for the rest of this 2021 season. So let's get right into this. When looking at the D-backs offensively, they're not awful. They have Gatel Marte, former All-Star hitting 345 this season. Eduardo Escobar also having a very productive season, 15 home runs driven in 43 so far. You got David Peralta with 35 runs driven in, Pavin Smith hitting 282, Carson Kelly playing like one of the best offensive catchers in baseball right now, hitting 271 with 8 bombs and 26 driven in. You also have Josh Rojas with 9 home runs and Azdrubal Cabrera who's hitting around 260 with 4 home runs so far just returning from an injury, so offensively not really that bad. Now the pitching side of things is where it gets a little bit ugly. They do have Zach Gallen, who in my opinion, if he was healthy all season, would be an all-star this year. He is returning tomorrow to actually start. After about a month-long absence, he currently has an ERA of 3.04. And they also have Caleb Smith, who's not that bad of a pitcher right now. He is pitching to a 3.61 earned run average. But outside of that, it gets really ugly. You have Madison Bumgarner, who in my opinion is one of the worst pitchers in baseball right now. He currently is on the shelf with an injury, but when he was playing, he pitched to a 5.73 earned run average. And they also do have Merrill Kelly, who has shown some flashes in the past of being a not so bad pitcher, but this year his ERA is above five. And lastly, in the rotation, they do have Matt Peacock, who is also pitching to a five plus ERA right now. And now looking at their bullpen, it is god awful. Prior to doing my research on this bullpen, I didn't think they were this bad. I knew they didn't have a good bullpen, obviously, because they're the worst team in the league. But I didn't think they were this bad. Let's go over the numbers here. They have Joaquin Soria with a 6 earned run average. Stefan Christian with a 5.57 ERA. Corbin Martin with an 8.25. Riley Smith with a 5.21. Kevin Ginkle with a 5.81. And John Duplanter with a 13.15. So after doing my research here, I don't see one reliever in this bullpen that has an ERA below 5. So the Diamondbacks bullpen right now is a big mess and it is a huge reason why they are so bad this year. And after watching a couple of D-backs games earlier in the season, I did notice they had some decent starting pitching, like I said, with Zach Gallen and Caleb Smith not pitching that bad. And... They did have some leads going into the later innings, but it seemed to be that their bullpen did blow lots of leads, and that is obviously the big reason why they're so bad, because they do not have, as I said, one reliever with an earned run average below 5. And prior to doing my research on all the numbers with the D-backs, I couldn't really figure out why they were so bad, because offensively they have guys like Cattell Marte, Eduardo Escobar, David Peralta, Pavin Smith, Carson Kelly all having good years offensively. And on the pitching side of things, for their starting rotation, they do have a couple bad pitchers like Bumgarner and Carson Kelly and Matt Peacock, but they do have Zach Gallen and Caleb Smith pitching pretty well, so their pitching rotation is enough to get them above to a decent level. Like, they're not worst team in the league when you look at their rotation and their offense. But when looking at the bullpen, that gives you the clear reason why they're such a bad team right now. They are just god-awful in the bullpen, and as the season goes on, we'll see if this bullpen gets any better. Um, they really don't have too much guys injured coming back, so they don't have much to look forward to. Um, really not too much optimism with this bullpen here. But in my opinion, if I had to predict how the rest of the season will fold out and unfold for the D-backs, I would say they're going to get better. I don't think they are the worst team in the league. Before the season, I had the D-backs finishing third in the NL West above the Giants and Rockies. I had the D-backs going 72-90. and 90. And while I don't think they're going to reach 72 wins this year, I do think they'll get better. I think they'll pass teams like the Orioles, maybe the Twins. Um, the Tigers, the Pirates, the Rockies, as the season goes on, I think they'll pass a couple of these teams. I don't think they will finish with the worst record in the league. It's just they have too much talent on this roster to be that bad, and I think things can only really go up from here. I think the way this current roster is constructed, that they are around a 70-win team or so, but with how bad they started, I don't think they're going to reach that 70 wins. I think they're going to be around the 65 um, 
right around that area. I don't think they're going to reach 70 wins though, but I think they're going to be in the mid 60s areas in terms of wins. So there you have my thoughts on the current D-backs roster and how their season has gone so far. Now, if you guys do enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe. I post plenty of baseball content over here. I'm going to continue to do so going forward. So if you're a big baseball fan, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I want to thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.